Today, we're having a $100 versus $500 budget fishing challenge. Each contestant must use their budget on a rod, a reel, and five baits. This challenge is made up of three different contests. Whoever wins two out of the three contests wins the challenge. All right guys, time to flip the coin and see who's gonna get the $100 and see who's gonna get the $500, so. Fingers crossed I get the 500. Last time I got the uh, the $100 budget and Noah got the 1,000 and he barely squeezed by. I know. And then the final I, I had a seconds. crazy comeback, man. If you guys wanna check that video out, we'll link it down below, it was a banger. But go ahead and flip that coin, man. All right, well I'm gonna do the honors, you pick it in the air. Heads. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, hey, sir! Gosh! Yes, sir, baby. Right, you, want the, you want the 100 or the 500? Oh, you already know what I'm thinking. I'm that $500, boys. Oh. Let's go ahead and get after it, Fletcher. You're going to go first since you got the $100 budget. We're going to pick out the rod, reel, and five baits, and we're going to go ahead and get after it. Let's get it, baby. All right, Fletcher, $100 budget, brother. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We don't have a whole lot of options under a hundred dollars. I don't even know if we have a bait caster. We got a lot of like 10 and $20 Walmart combos. I think I'm gonna pass on those. <laughs> we're we're gonna avoid with those. The Walmart combos, yeah, huh? I, I might just, you know, might just whip the kitty rod today. You never know. <laughs> if I if I pick this and just came out and beat you, you have to delete your YouTube channel. <laughs> Since uh, we're not getting any of those, it's really looking like this is our best option, guys. Another Zebco. This one is the Zebco Rome. This thing is coming in at a whopping $44.99. I actually like this rod. This one's pretty solid. Can't go wrong with the old classic push button. So I guess that's what we're working with here today. I like it. Now we gotta pick out five baits. I'm thinking we're gonna pick some saw plastic, some top water, and some moving baits just to kind of cover the full spectrum here. I've been kind of craving to throw a buzz bait recently, and we got a little. Strike King Buzz Toad here. We're gonna go with this and see if we can't get crushed on that. Should be interesting. I don't think I've ever thrown a buzz bait on a push button. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see how that works out. While we're in this box, I think we might as well go with a with the spinner bait. I haven't thrown a spinner bait in a while either. So I'm thinking this Strike King tour grade half ounce is gonna be money. That's two baits. We got three more to go. And I think I wanna throw a mock bouncer. Ooh. This bait is Deadly. Let me tell you, I've been throwing this the last few days over on my channel, and I've been smoking them on this thing. Confidence is really up there right now with this bait, so we're gonna give this a shot. This is in a little bluegill pattern. By the way, discount code on the screen. Website link down below, guys. Go check out the mock baits and in Dick's Sporting Goods. And in Dick's Sporting Goods. So that's three baits, you got two more. We're gonna get the other the, the other mock crankbait here, and that is the mock slack jaw. And this is a lipless crankbait, like the two tap, but just the mock version, this one has more of like a loud rattle in it and it actually has two tie-on points so you can kind of change the depth that you want to target. So we're going to give this a shot. We need one more thing and I'm thinking we're definitely going to have to go with a bottom bait here. And I was trying to avoid bottom baits because we have this push button and while I'm not worried about it being a push button, this rod in general is just more of like a a medium, it doesn't have like a ton of backbone, which isn't a, necessarily a bad thing. It's just not like the best option for trying to get like a big wide gap hook into a fish's mouth, trying to set it through a worm and everything. So we want something light wire, but if I'm gonna go with soft plastics and I want something that is a little bit easier to use and be able to get that hook in there nice and well, can't go wrong with the Ned. Little Ned, little spinner bait, little buzz bait, slack jaw, and the bouncer. That's our choices. I just had a mouth fart. I don't know what that was, but those are our choices. There we go. All right, big dog. What you going with? Five hundred dollars. I can pretty much buy your whole shop, man. Yeah, buy everything. Not really. Go for not, it. not really, <laughs> dude. I was balling on a big budget last time. This time we're cut in half. So instead of a thousand dollars, we're at five hundred. Only five hundred. Only five hundred dollars. <laughs> we're balling on a big budget today. We got a couple different options here. So got a bunch of different spinning rod and reels right here. We also have a kicking combo. And dude, Ooh. I don't know who did this, Fletcher. This the is not mine, green. by the way. This is either. That's either mine. yours or your dad's. It's yeah. mine. And uh, that thing is looking spicy, bro. If you guys want to check out any of the kicking combos, you can check them out on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. I will link it down below. Thank you to everybody that supports me and the brand. And uh, just that we got to come out with this Kicking Their Bass X Loose special rod is just a blessing. And uh, you guys have been eating it up, man. And everybody that buys them has seemed to be very happy with it. It's a great versatile rod going down from the spinning rod to even the bait caster, which we got out there. 
But um, I got $500, Fletcher. I probably can get multiple rods, right? I think I did that last time, too. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you got the budget again. You know what, dude? I, I gotta go with it. Just because it's got the lime green. The lime green, green's going bro, too hard The right lime now. green line is just looking spicy. So this is gonna be our first pick. This is $110. So that, dude, that doesn't even put a damper in our budget at all. So maybe, you know, the spinning rod will go with more of our finesse baits. We'll end up picking out some maybe soft plastics that we can throw on that. I was looking at this puffy, and this was kind of what I really wanted to go with, which is the Mock Crush. And I believe this is what, like a little over $200? Yeah. Like 220. I, I think it's like 200, 220. It's very similar to the kicking combo as far as color. It's got that pearlescent glint just in the orange. So I'm gonna go with this, man. I think I'm gonna go with the Mock Crush and the kicking combo. So that's like $350 right there. And then I'll just leave the rest of my budget up to the baits, man. Maybe I don't spend the whole 500 <laughs> yeah. today, you know? Unless I go with like some giant swim baits that are $100, but I think that would probably put me out of distance. Yeah, unless you're picking like a Roman made swim bait, I think you're good. Like you got these S waivers over here, and like this would all be fine and dandy. What? Fletcher, what? What, what is this? Uh, that, you... was, that was from a, a challenge last summer. We made the world's worst lures, so we put drop shot hooks on a glide bait. And uh, we got a spinner bait with a lipless as its blade. That is very interesting, brother. I've never seen it before. I'd, I'd say it's very Hey, unique. they both caught fish. <laughs> if you want to pick them, go for it, dude. <laughs> I could. Even with these one baits, I think these are only $25, bro. They're, it's not even like they're ultra expensive. I don't think I'm gonna go with that, bro. It's just gonna put me at like a disadvantage. The one thing that I am gonna go with, the mock work bait, I thought about it in the last challenge and I ended up not picking it and I regret it, dude. I think they're gonna smoke this thing. Today. Yeah, that's definitely gonna get crushed. Dude, this bait is something else. So that's gonna be my first bait, mock work bait. I think we're gonna smoke them. I've been killing them on the river. This is another bait, like you said, Fletch, the bouncer you have a lot of confidence in. This is something I've had a lot of confidence in recently because the times I went out on the river, I was smoking them on the work bait. So that's gonna be bait number one. I'm gonna set it in my pile right there. I would go with a two tap here, but I feel like you already got a lipless. Not only that, but you used this in the last challenge. We might wanna switch it up, right? Yeah, be original yeah, for once, dude. I wanna, I wanna do something a little different than that. Let's see what else we got. Go over here to the bait wall. You didn't use the bait wall, so I'm excited. I got all the options to browse from. This is one of my favorite baits ever, guys. Old Rage Crawl. The places that we're gonna be fishing today, pretty clear water, therefore I'm gonna go with a natural green pumpkin. That is bait number two. All right, what else we got, Fletch? Do I go three hard baits or do I go three soft plastics? I think there's a good way of doing this. <laughs> Listen, dude, I know I used it last time, bro. But, oh my God. Listen, bro. You gonna do it again? Just, just hear me out, bro. Do you want the chatter bait or you want a thunder cricket? It's, it's the chatter donk. Oh, I could go with the thunder. Do you have a thunder cricket? Oh, yeah. you do have a thunder cricket. We'll, we'll go with the thunder cricket. And the cool thing, I'm glad you said that, Fletch, because you just saved me. You know why? How did I save you? Because when it comes down to these five baits, obviously you want to put a trailer on a chatter donk. If I was to pick the black and blue, it probably would have been better that I picked the black rage cross. But I did pick like the more natural ones, and that would just fit up better on that, man. So I'm going to do that thunder cricket. That's three baits. What else we got here? I think one more soft plastic, bro. Maybe a little some, wormy? Little, little smelly things, man. I know these things are gonna smell disgusting, but <laughs> we're probably gonna rock a little uh, curly tail worm. That That's always a go. Okay, that's four baits. Now I got one more bait. I feel like I had some like ideas in mind, but like my brain is just totally farted, bro. Like I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. I'm just picking randomly. Man, what else do I pick, Fletch? Options on options on I options. I mean, I got some ideas. You pick a jig. You I didn't. Pick a no, jig. Yeah, I'm you gonna can, pick a jig, bro. You, you can grab that jig. There we go. Big jig, black and blue. And I think the first lake we're gonna go to, they're gonna smoke that. Three parts of this challenge. The five bait challenge, whoever catches a fish on each bait wins part one. And then part two is a 30 minute challenge where we put 30 minutes on the clock, we see who catches the most fish. And then for the second part, we see who catches, last time we did weight. Let's do length today, bro. Yeah, what let's do, do length. Let's we'll mix it length. up. So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, that's my five baits right there. Fletcher picked out his five. Let's go ahead and get out to the lake and catch these fish and try to complete part one of this challenge. All right, boys, we made it out. Me and Fletcher are gonna be competing to whoever catches five fish, so one fish on each of the baits that we picked out. Whoever catches the first five wins the first part of the challenge, and then we're gonna relocate to another lake for the 30 minute speed challenge. So I'm gonna tie this up and uh, we're gonna get started, guys. I'm ready to smoke some good ones. One thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this rage crawl 
on the back of my chatter tong. Not the perfect match that we want. And by the way, this does not count for two baits. This is only still the chatter bait, but I do need something to put on the back of it. And that's about all I have. So we're gonna be rocking with this. The water's looking a little bit murky. So maybe something with a little bit of noise, more disturbance will attract the fish a little bit easier. All right, Fletcher, we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, baby, let's get it. Didn't realize I was an elite push button skip caster. I think I found my calling. I'd tangle up. That'd be great. Oh, Cut that one, Connor. I'm getting locked in, Fletch. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm getting locked Lock, in, just locked straight in, up dude. backlash. Don't cut that, Connor. Oh, Don't cut it. Make sure you zoom in on this spool <laughs> right here. You zoomed in on my spool last time. You better zoom in on that like one. Like I said, we're just switching roles, you know? All right, guys, we're coming up on some structure up here. So I'm going to put this buzz bait up and tie on something that's going to be a little bit more appropriate to fish it. Noah's already getting in there. Hopefully he doesn't snipe one right out the gate. Oh, there we go. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just messing with you. Lying. How'd you look, dude? Oh, oh. Get, out, get out of here, man. Oh, Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. I can't remember where the tree is. There's a brush pile down here, guys. Somewhere out in front. Somewhere out in about out there. Hey, conditions are. You got one? Biggin'. Biggin'? Oh! oh God. That's a nice one, baby! Truck first. Always oh, barely hooked, stay pinned. Please stay pinned, please stay pinned. That's like a dang four pounder, bro. Dang bad. It's a dang four pounder, bro. Come on now. On the structure. Well, Dude, he is barely hooked. Can you please stop dumping, like please? Why are you throwing these at me? Yeah. Oh. That makes me feel a bit better. Yeah, no, I was about to say the conditions are perfect for your spinner bait. And then as I was about to say that, I get slammed. Let's freaking go, boys. Size don't really matter in this, but. Is that Shut up. Oh, my oh you probably got bit, bro. It might have fired him up. There we go, baby. Good three, three and a half pound fish right there to start us off on the chatter donk. I am fishing this online mock smash tournament. I got to measure this fish. Here, move that rod. Just kind of like pop it up for me. I just knocked my buzz bait in the water. <laughs> And I don't have an extra one. Golly. Maybe that is a blessing for you because I'm going to be a nice guy, Fletch. We can just say you can catch two fish on another bait. Okay. Fletcher did that on purpose, honestly. He was like, I can't do the buzz bait. Maybe if I knock it in the water, we'll be good. All right. I'll, I'll catch two on the spinner bait. That's the closest thing to it. Well, that's pretty cool, dude. Heck yeah. We weighed in our first or lengthened our first fish for the mock. We lengthened our first fish. We lengthened our fish. <laughs> Beautiful. What a fish to start off the video with, guys. I got one bait complete. Enjoy it while it lasts. Fletcher is going to try to make some ground on me, and we're going to see what we're going to tie on next. I'm feeling a little bit more confident, even though I love showing off my skipping ability with that buzz bait. Um, getting that off of my plate is feeling a little bit better. Oh, no. You better tighten that drag, Johnny. Well, oh, shut up. No. Oh. Gosh. Oh. Dude, it feels pretty tight. You're lucky I didn't have this crawl on because you know what I would have done there. Oh. <laughs> I would have dropped it. You down. wouldn't have done that, man. You definitely snagged your. You're your too nice of a guy to do me like yeah. that. Okay, okay. That was definitely a fish there. He bit me twice. Textbook fish bite. Now uh, let's just get that drag a little bit tighter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, she's, uh, she's not bad. She's not bad. We'll take that fish all day on the room. Come on here, honey. Come on here, honey. Get in the boat. Yes, sir. We are all tied up, my friend. Good job, Bubba. I'll give it to you. I'm going with the T-Rig guys with the Rage Crawl. That's what we're doing right here. So let's get after it. Fletcher's catching up, man. Oh, sorry, honey. You got a crankbait in your heel. Did I really? Oh, no. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Come on here. Put your foot up on daddy's knee and I'll help you out. We're good. We're good. Dude, you were getting freaking yeah. slammered. Oh. Oh, did you get thumped? Oh, oh dude, that bite know. was literally like. That just made me want to do jumping jacks, bro. <laughs> literally made me want to. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we about to take the lead, boy. She ain't a big one, but she is a fish, that's for sure. Get in the boat, honey. Get in the boat. That is a brute. Dude. Oh, my goodness. 
Right now you can't compete with a Zebco push button. What's the fatty, dude? <laughs> she's, she's a little chunk. It's a 13 inch bass, but he's really has like the fatness of like, I'd say like a 14 and a half, you know? 14 and a like half. A, you know, oh, for sure, 14 and a half. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> bro, I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. Right, I'm gonna lose right. my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, that's two <gasps> fish down, guys. Two fish down. I should be dang three fish down. This, this is literally spitting image of what happened on the last challenge. Have you ever heard the term nice guys finish last? Yes. I and it that, happens to me it, quite often. Yeah. <laughs> Might happen to you today for being oh, too nice God. for me about the buzz bait. Because I just knocked out two of my five fish on the spinner bait. So let's get this thing twisted. What is going on, one? bro? What is going on? Look, he literally sucked my freaking claws off okay guys we uh we are changing gears to the mock slack gel a little lipless crankbait action i feel like this is gonna be a ticket to victory mock smash smash <laughs> there we go oh no oh that feels like a nice one. Oh, no. dude that feels like a nice one Oh my gosh. I mean, it's definitely because you have your foot on the pedal, but he's running towards me, foot. Oh, yeah, she's oh, good. Oh! Dude, it's a freaking she's mega! Good. Hey, there ain't no doubt about that. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! Dude, that's a four pounder, every bit of it. Good thing we ain't going for size, but you'd be crushing it right now. Oh my gosh. You know what's crazy is I was just talking about that bank, and sure enough, dude. Here we go, boys. We're tied up if we land this fish. Come on, baby. I gotta, I gotta measure this one, though. Oh my gosh, that's a tank, bro. That is a Look really, at that thing. Dude, that's a really good fish. God dog, boys. There we go, guys. Fish number two is a freaking tank, man. That is every bit of a four pound donkey. And we are tied with Fletch. Let's get, get, get this baby back in the water. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go, boys. That was a mega. All right, guys. Well, Rage Crawl is completely done. Now we're going to go with the Curly Tail Worm. This is going to be the most time effective thing. They stank, bro. Somebody just woke up one day. Yeah, let's just make them smell like a dirty dog. I would rather make some spray that smells somewhat pleasant. You know what I mean? Like, just yeah. not like a straight, like, like my dog bent over and farted Dude, in my I face. I mean, it should have made it smell like a cheeseburger, <sighs> you know? That's what I'm saying. We are on to bait number three. We're tied, Fletch. How, how are you feeling? Because I'm already done. No. <laughs> bro listen was that a bite chill yes dude i had them on for like two seconds about literally fell in the water like i was i'm concerned i hit my funny bone a minute ago and i found out that it's not that funny bro <laughs> when you hit your funny bone it, definitely ain't that it, it has a tingle in the wingle right now let's get the lead right here let's get the lead right here boys dude that would have been my first cast on the worm just complete that would have been beautiful and a good thing it's on my second cast that's no a monster way. that's a monster fletch it's a monster no it's a freaking monster really? watch this are you ready are you ready what oh dude it's a that tank. thing is tanking. i'm talking it's massive fletch like eight i don't know about that but he's fighting harder than that last one golly I man it's another he's smaller than the last ain't he yeah oh my gosh <laughs> he took off what? I mean, definitely not a small fish. I mean, he's a three pounder, but he felt like five at least. He did. He felt way bigger than that last one. He's a brute. Wow. Well, over here talking trash about the worm, and it kind of proved me wrong. <laughs> here we go, guys. Fish number three. We're going on the bait number four. We're getting a step closer. Just past Fletch. He had me for a minute there. I'm coming back. We ain't going down without a fight. Okay, guys. Let's see what baits we got. We have the worm done. We have the crawl done. And we have the chatter donk done. So we have the jerk bait. And then we have the jig. I think just to switch up bottom bait approach, we're going to go with the jerk bait and uh, change up the pace real quick. It says come eat me. All right. Oh, jerk bait. I love me a jerky. The one you call is out there on the... Right on the buoy. The buoy. I can't believe one hasn't taken that out of your hand. You've caught what, two on a spinnerbait? Two on a spinnerbait, yeah. You got one? Yeah. Oh, yep. no. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, oh he came off. Run, run. He came off. Oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, a that's a big one. That's a big one. That was a great sequence of events there for oh, me. No. Noah lost his, and we're hooked up. Oh. I have not fired up, though. I'm oh, baby. Oh, baby. It was just a matter of time there. Oh. 
You're working it slow, weren't you? Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Were you working it slow? I was, and I sped it up, and then she came for it. She barely hooked. She barely hooked. She barely hooked. Get in. Boom. Let's go. I needed that bad, guys. Keeping the lead alive. It's funny because when I hooked the fish, I kind of felt bad for you. And then I lost it, and I was like, oh. And then right when I lost it, you hooked up, and I was like, I gotta stop being the nice guy. I'm, I'm going back to what you said. Yeah. I felt kind of bad. I was like, dang, I got one more bite. I'm cruising. And I will say, I slowed mine down tremendously, and then he bit it. Just like that. Oh, yeah. All right, we're all tied up. Yes, sir. You done being the nice guy? Yeah, that, listen, I'm fine with this fish. Size don't matter in this one. I'm fine with this one. They're fat as can be, though. Thank you, baby. Shoo. Okay, here you go, Noah. Oh, Pliers all tied up. Going into bait number four. Hey, we ain't tied up now. I just caught this one. Wait. I'm going on bait number five, son. You're on five? I'm oh. on five, son. Oh, you thought. Bro. You thought. Oh, no. Hey, you oh. see that? See that? See how small he is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure you want to measure that one, man? <laughs> oh man. One bite and I sealed the first challenge, boys. I'm on my last bait, which is the jig. All right. Mock bouncer. Let's get in there. All right, let's get like a one cast wonder here. That would be absolutely electric. Put us right back in for the tie. And we would just be one bait to go with the with the deadly nebly. Oh, one cast wonder, one cast wonder. Let's go on the mod bouncer. What did I tell you guys earlier? I've been throwing this all freaking week over at my channel, and I've been smoking them on it. First cast does not go wrong for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's a good size. She's healthy. She's thick, and she's a fish. Dude, I'm over here waiting to cast, just taking my time. Watch what freaking smokes one. Okay, we are officially tied. He's got to retie. I'm hoping I can get a bite real quick. I do not want to lose this. This one's a good 17 inches. Thank you for the bite there, little lady. Let's keep it going. We got the deadly Nedley. That's all we need. One more fish. Oh my God, it's a Ned rig too. Yeah, boy. Oh no. You already know. Oh, the dude, deadly please just bite it please just bite me please i don't want to be tailing on this challenge again i pulled it off last time but i don't know if i can pull it off twice I thought you were over here trying to <laughs> I, I heard you loading up back there don't don't even <laughs> Yes, no. yes, no. yes, yes, let's go. <laughs> what I tell you, we're just gonna roll up in here. We're just gonna roll up in here. And we're gonna get one first cast. We just gotta get him in the boat. Gotta get him in the boat. Stay, stay on. Stay on here, Jimmy. Stay on here, Jimmy. Let's go. <laughs> we won the first part of the comp. We're one point on the board. Now we just got to beat Noah in numbers or length. Yeah, and I got to win both the second <laughs> parts now. Again, why would that fish want that little twinky thing? I mean, like, like <laughs> now one. I get a... Oh, my gosh, it's a tank. It's a tank, too. Oh. Dude, they're popping bait like crazy. This is where we needed our jerk bait. In, Bro, in. this spot is fire what? right now. There's bait everywhere. Okay, we are smoking them. I can't be too mad about it, guys. We, uh... Fletcher did, does take uh, part one of the three-part challenge. Now we're going to head off to another lake, and whoever catches the most fish in 30 minutes gets a point, and whoever catches the longest fish in 30 minutes gets a point. So we will catch you guys at the other lake, but this place was fun, man. We caught some tanks. All right, y'all. We're out at the freaking juice hole, the honey hole. Getting ready for part two and part three of the challenge, which is going to consist of 30 minutes of fishing. This is going to get intense. Viewer discretion <laughs> is advised. 18 years or older. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, this is going to get a little crazy, guys. It's going to get wild. If you haven't watched the other challenge we filmed, I highly suggest it. So I'm going to be using a mock work bait. Fletcher is going to be using a mock bouncer. So a little mock off. These baits can be comparable in away who knows they might eat one of these better than the other we don't know <laughs> we're gonna see what's gonna happen by the way if you guys want to get a discount on on the mock baits i'll have discount code on the screen link will be down below what's gonna end up happening i'm just doing a cast my lines messed up this fletcher's gonna set a 30 minute timer 
And that's what we're gonna be basing off of. 30 minutes, that's all we get. Whatever it comes down to is what it's in and off on. So Fletcher won the first challenge, so he's up. One point. One point, so one to zero. For me to complete this challenge and do what I did last time, I have to win not only the most fish in 30 minutes, I have to win the longest fish in 30 minutes. I have to win both to complete the challenge. Fletcher has to only win one to win the challenge because that would be two out of three. All right, Noah, 30 minute timer starts now. All right, <laughs> it's about to go down, boys. So let me ask you this. I know we're throwing these baits. Say they're not biting your bait or my bait. Can we switch up? Yeah, you can switch at any point. We haven't had the chance to test anything out beforehand like we did last time so we're not really sure what we're getting in. Oh! Oh, did you miss one? Oh, dude, he had it in his mouth. I watched him eat it. I didn't even feel it. Just straight up watched him. Look at this Fletch. Oh, gosh. Oh, you got him. Oh. You got him. <laughs> no! no! Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> dude. You know what? So I'm, I'm casting left hand, but I have a right handed reel. So this jerk bait's really awkward for me. Last time I could skip that chatter bait way up in those trees. I might go with a re game here in a minute. We know the potential of this place. Yes. Oh, oh dude, you dude, missed dude, another dude. one? Watch, watch, watch this, watch this. Dude, I'm telling you, watch this. Do you need to come up? You think he's gonna come up right there? Dude, I would literally, I am down for anything in this pond. Someone's just gotta break the ice. What? Oh, we're on, we're on, let's go. We're striking first, guys. That's what I like to see. Not a giant, I don't know if she's gonna be worth uh, lengthening. <laughs> I was gonna say, Wayne, what'd you say earlier? <laughs> lengthening. <laughs> that's a, that's the new term. But uh, she is certainly one fish on the board. We're just gonna throw her back. I don't think uh, we're, she's worth spending the time to, to lengthen. I'd rather change game plans when it's one to zero than like five to five or something, you know? Yeah. I might just go literally straight white skirt, bro. Literally straight chatter. Chatter machine, you just got, like that. You got something against screen trailers, man? I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how this works. I'm feeling just the white chatter be easy for dude. The way this thing just goes crazy without a trailer. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling it, bro. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Come on, fish. What was that spiciness that we experienced last time? We haven't fished this since. The last time, it, it was like on the pace to be the world's best pond. <laughs> yeah. Like literally. I was like, you couldn't get him off the hook fast enough. Listen, wait, it's gonna happen. Dude, why, 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 why? I don't understand. I really don't. Oh my God. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have lengthened that fish. <laughs> I can't I can't even hook it. I can't get anything on, dude. Oh, as I said there. You on? I was on. There it I is. Get... Oh! 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 That's a good one. Oh, there's a monster! That's a good Fletcher, one. Fletcher, that's the biggest one we've seen in oh, here. That's the biggest... Oh god. Oh that's gonna return. That's he that's... choked it too. That's gonna be a contender. Let's freak skinny as can be, long. but I'm talking the longest fish of the day, bro. Oh, his mouth is huge. Look at how long that bat. <laughs> it couldn't have gone better for me. Oh my God. I, I don't like my fish being skinny, but buddy, you are perfect. Oh, this, oh my God, he's so long. So Fletcher, longest fish of the day, 20 inches. 20 inches? Well, look at this, I'm talking the skinniest fish, but it just worked out in my favor to not go weight and go to size. The head on that fish, that fish should have been every bit of four pounds and he was like two and a half. All right, Ned, be worth my time here. One to one, I'm leading the length. Let's keep it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Oh, we left fish staying school and coming out there. I know. I, I really wanted to do this in that last spot we pulled. Oh, There we no. go. Right on, oh, no. right on the edge of the dock. Right on the edge of the dock. Yes. I might be on the sun without the trailer, guys. I might be on to something. Touch the fish. Boom, the fish number two. Let's go. Let's keep her going. We're kind of getting comfortable, Fletch, both of us. I'm letting you know that, so we got we to gotta speed it up. You're getting comfortable. There we go. I might be getting comfortable too. Let's go. Oh, it's actually feels like a good one. 
actually feels like a good one. Oh, no, dude. Oh, boy. Come on. I don't know. She's tugging, though. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, <laughs> I don't know. She's pulling good. She's a good size. Dude, that's a nice one. She's a good size. I don't know, but she's she's respectable. Get on in here. Boom. Fish her down, but size is up. Let's, uh, let's give her a measure. I don't think she's going to be there. Not going to be it. Not going to be it. So we're tied on numbers, 2-2. Two, two. That sounds about right. <laughs> I feel like I'm throwing just an ineffective. I, I don't know. Look, should I put a rage crawl on this thing? I don't know what I'm throwing, bro. I don't have anything to like pair it up that I'm just like, this looks freaking good. I have such a relief though, knowing that I might have the longest. This might. That is some like early comfort. I'm not going to lie. Like if I caught that fish, I would be big chilling right now. What's going on here? Maybe we just slammed them super hard that day. They still haven't thought, forgot about us, even though it was a month ago. I really think it's the water player, dude. It's like the water is a little. Like, there we go, there we go. Oh, that's Another a good one. Oh my that's gosh. That. Dude, upgrade? that's a tank. Did you just upgrade? Dude, I don't know. He might be over 20. The big ones are oh so my big. gosh, bro. That's a freaking nice one, dude. That's an easy three something. Well, now I'm starting to get a little worried. Because Fletcher could possibly, I don't think he's gonna be as long as that other one, Fletch, but he's definitely big. That's fish number three for me. Oh, he's close. He's 19 and a half. Yeah. That is a great bass. Third fish, three to two. Jeez, boy. No. Dude, he felt yes. like a dang good one. He was running at me. Oh, oh he was running at me heavy. Oh. I'm indecisive here, guys. Taking this off. About as indecisive as my girlfriend when she wants to go somewhere for dinner. I definitely know the pain, man. I definitely know the pain. Dude, that grass sure looks good. We got a dang frog. I don't feel more comfortable throwing a dang frog right now, to be completely fair with you, <laughs> out of anything. On this setup would be interesting. Let me tell you. There we go. No. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Or actually, yeah, that is four. Yeah. That is four. All right, four to two. Four to two, baby. Come on. Four to two. They go absolutely terrible. Say that. Oh. Dude, come on. Come on, fish. Please, please, please just eat it. I, I've missed half the fish, half my opportunities. I would be in a decent little spot. There we go. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Fish number three. All right. Mock bouncer delivering right away. Touch. Just in case she falls off. A little bit of hook there. Sorry, I probably should put you back a little bit more graceful, but we're on a mission. Yeah. All right, what, three three to four? Three, three to four. We have like not bad baits at all, but just not what I would think to throw. You know what I mean? I know, you know I know. know. I mean? Like the baits are not bad. We just switched up from what we did the last time. I feel like we had more baits to just. Oh yeah. Fish number four tied up. Come on, be a lunker. Be a 21 inch skinny bass. That would be just dandy. Finding dandy. Come on, come on. She ain't she ain't 21 inches, but she's a she's a chunky short one. I got a little momentum here now. Thank you for the bite. I got this black and blue guys. That's what I threw last time. Maybe the white's just not it. Let's get a quick time check. Eight minutes, 30, or yeah, 28 seconds. Eight minutes? Or sorry, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. 18 minutes, 28 seconds. What if what if I change to this black and blue and it's just it? Yeah, that looks better. Okay, <laughs> yes. The, the neon green and, and the blue. Oh. No way else. Dude, I swear. If that tells me anything about this bait, I didn't even have to reel it for him to hop on it. Come on, baby. Maybe it's the black and blue chatter donk is just the... Oh, no. Dude, oh, that feels like another no. big in flat. Really? I'm serious. Oh, oh it's another God. big in. Dude, I mean, like, I can't get these big ins off. Every fish I've caught, look at this. <laughs> That's almost a four pounder. Oh, boys, we might have just made the money move. What's that, 5'4? Five, 5'4. Four? Five, four. I'm gonna get a measurement. I've caught an 18 and a half, a 19 and a half, and a 20, bro. Tell me there ain't one up in there. Come on. 
just eating even these fish like before they would like bite it twice they're not doing that anymore it's like a total different know, freaking like, pond i don't even know what we're dealing with who are y'all who are these fish what do they do with our other fish? let's go dude still a decent one two pounder Dang it, dang it, dang it, guys. We really do not need no to catch any more fish. The deficit is not what we need. Six to four, baby. Dude, if I can get one more right here and make that gap three, that would be so good. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Four to seven, boy. Four to seven, baby. Yeah, everybody loves an underdog story. Just wait, guys. Just wait. Oh my god, he jumped back in the boat! Fletcher, he, I literally threw him back! What? He, I threw Wait, him he back! He went in the water and they came he back. He went in the water and came back in the boat. Okay, seven to four. It's not out of your reach, bro. You have plenty of time. You really do. It's not like there's five minutes left. Everybody loves an underdog story. I'm coming back. I'm the underdog story. No, I'm the underdog. All right? Dude, look at the budget. Look what you're fishing with <laughs> and look what I'm fishing with. You're not wrong. <laughs> Especially with you not completing the last one. They definitely. Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, man. that feels like a nice one. Bro, you're just now. You're just I figured out some with that black chowder donk, dude, with the thing. Look at these fish, Fletcher. I mean, they're just. Respectable. They're beautiful fish, man. Eight to four. I mean, these are all like good two plus pounders. What's insane with it? Last time they were not like that. Eight to four, Fletch. You don't want me to get more ahead. Do you uh, switch? Do you I, switch? I, I don't know what to switch to. There's nothing I can get up there with them like that. All your fish are coming in the back of the tree. Like I'm having to skip it way. I know you're noticing that. It's like I'm not even reeling it how I would normally fish a chatter donk. It's like I'm having to kind of skip it up there, just kind of pop it like a jig almost. It's kind of weird, man. Can't let me have another comeback story victory, Fletch. I'll let it get trying, to you. I'm trying, dude. I'm telling you, I figured. Oh, 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 run, run, finally. Let's go. Oh no, he came off. Oh, what is going no. on? This might be the hot zone. Part. Come on, come on, come on. I really needed that one. Time check. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Two minutes? Oh, buddy. <laughs> a lot of ground to cover. Oh, buddy. My best, my best chance right now is just big fish. We, we got, we got a. Are you right where I caught the big fish? So maybe there's this twin fingers. brother. This is exactly where Noah caught it. Maybe I catch him again and we tie ball game. Or you catch this twin brother that's half an inch taller. <laughs> yeah. No way. Gosh. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I'm not going to lie. That was cool. I'm not going to be upset about that. God, I just can't get back there with this crank. I feel for you right now. The budget difference. Watching me just be able to skip this thing and then not, obviously, you can't skip that bait. Ooh. You got another one? Yep. I went back for him, dude. He hit me. Yeah, I'm at nine. Just pray that you get a long one, man. That's all you need to win. This one's pretty dang long. Look at look at these fish, dude. Oh, yeah, granddaddy long That's nine. Yeah, I don't think it's possible for you to catch up to the numbers, but it is possible for you to get one bite that possibly <laughs> beats that fish. I probably have like two or three more cats. Come on, come on, come on. I will happily shake your hand if you cut. Oh, oh. Well, brother, congrats, Noah. that was another freaking crazy challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button. I'll catch you all in the next one.